This is Joe Resinell with The Frontline with Joe and Joe. Once again, let us go into the breach. The University of Pennsylvania nominates the transgender swimmer, Leah Thomas, for the NCAA Woman of the Year Award. This action started a firestorm of protests directed at the university and the swimmer, including a Penn swimming alum who accused the university leaders of having tarnished the school's name permanently. Science tells us that there are two genders. I know Joe Biden told us otherwise on CNN when asked, he said there's at least three, but science tells us that there are two. What do we mean by that? Well, every cell of our body has either an X or a Y chromosome, which defines either you are a man or a woman. And there is nothing you can do surgically and or taking medication that could alter that fact. It's a reality. Yet that reality hasn't resonated at the University of Pennsylvania, nor in the woke elites that, who have also embraced this type of thinking. Sadly, the only loser here is the university itself, and most importantly, Mr. Thomas. Sadly, once this trend goes away, he will be left alone, picking up the shards of his life. As a Catholic, we must respect everybody and we cannot discriminate against anyone. With that said, we, we are called to live in reality and reality and science says that this individual is a man, irregardless of what one of the greatest universities in the world is telling us little people. It's a sad situation. It's something that we should not play along with while we should respect nor should we ever discriminate against such an individual. But at the end of the day, the emperor has no clothes on and I'm not playing along and neither should you.